Welcome back, once again adventurers, to Let's Play Steins Gate Zero. In the last episode, it seemed that Maho Hyaja was more traumatized by the events of the hostage situation between us and CERN than we realized. Fortunately, however, despite uh, certain complications, we've... Uh, managed to take some time to rest and recuperate. However, having said that, we can't exactly rest easy either. Because, like it or not, we are now on uh, CERN's radar, so to speak. And of course, uh, we can't exactly uh, return to our humble lodgings of the Future Gadget Laboratory, either. Now that Kurusu's computer was destroyed, the odds that anyone would come after us had gone way down, but there was still a chance they would. Indeed, we're not entirely out of the woods yet. Just to be extra careful, I stayed away from the lab. Yeah. The further we are from Yugo Tanuji at this point in time, the better. Maho, Rintaro. It seems like uh, Leskin and Maho are departing Japan for Victor Condria in America, as we knew they would. Dr. Leskinen looked a little thinner since the last time I'd seen him. It seems that our time as a tester for the Amadeus system is finally coming to an end. You don't know the half of it, Leskinen. Leskinen held Maho tightly in his huge arms. Looks like his uh, public persona is just as extroverted as ever. The difference in size between them was so great that Maho looked like some kind of stuffed animal. Good thing we're not saying that out loud. If you're not careful, you might end up squashing her. Leskin and Maho were leaving the country on an afternoon on on a Wednesday. Oh no, no. We're leaving the country in, in the afternoon on a weekday. So I was the only one who could see them off. Since we're affiliated with them. Since I've been with Maho the whole time, instead of only seeing them off, I'd actually just brought her there in the first place. Maho, after all, was the kind of person who was incapable of getting to an airport on her own. I was amazed that she'd survived this long, given her lack of basic skills. Indeed. We held Maho's goodbye party last night at Ferris' house. Ferris was there, and so were Mayuri and Daru, and the others from the Christmas party. All were sad to see her go. Rintaro, Maho to ishu ni ite kurete arigato. I can't believe I'm uttering these words to you, of all people, Leskinen, but you're too kind. Yeah. It seems that Leskinen is still bent on having Rintaro study at Victor Condria. I wasn't kidding about that, huh? It doesn't look like in Rintaro, and it's not exactly like you can technically say no. But Rintaro, however, wants to get to Victor Condria by means of merit rather than special treatment. Of 
least uh, something. Uh, Brentaro has something to look forward to now. He smiled as he took my hand and shook it. I really was glad to hear it. After meeting Amadeus, my desire to go to Victor Convia had only increased. Okabe-san, I'll tell you what I'm saying. Thank you You're very welcome, Maho. If you weren't here, I wouldn't have been able to live in the future of the future of the future. I can't exactly refute that statement. Even Rutaru didn't know what would have gone down in the hostage situation if Moaka had decided to shoot either Maho or Daru, or use a knife on them for that matter. Oh, <laughs> Well, Rintaro has uh, plenty of motivation to getting to Victor Condria, so I'm sure he'll manage. Ah. Thank you for your efforts. So, Rintaro, I told you about the story. Amadeus no access can wa kyo koko de kaijo sasete mora koto ni naruta. We did have an accord, and so we will no longer have、uh, access to Amadeus Kurusu. Hi. That's what we promised, that's what we agreed to when we signed up for this, and so we have to honor our end of the bargain. Evidently, they couldn't leave me with access to Amadeus after they left the country. I was only supposed to test her during their stay here anyway. Definitely don't want to miss this opportunity. We might never get another chance. So, this ne. じゃあ一言だけいいですか。もちろん。I tap the icon for Amadeus. 何？私にもお別れの挨拶してくれるの？ Something tells me you were listening in on the whole conversation. Amadeus Kurusu was expressionless for some reason. Mana, it's not a And again, she would be fully aware of Maho and Leskinen's travel arrangements, so. Yet something in your expression tells me that you seem somewhat disappointed. Maho interjected before I could speak. Maybe Amadeus Kurusu wasn't quite as dis disappointed as I thought. Anyway, moving on. Kurusu was inside my screen. Was it a good thing that I'd spoken to her like this, or a bad thing? In the end, I knew I needed to forget about Kurusu Makase, but I couldn't. I couldn't escape from this curse. Not yet, anyway. Access key がなくなったな。もう会えなくなるな。I don't believe so, Rintaro. Ma, but as you know, I'm not sure that you're not going to be able to do that. I'm not sure that 
Kurosu gives her、uh, usual response. It seems she knows about、uh, that little arrangement as well. Very ironic considering the fact that you can't forget. <laughs> Of course, I had to re record this episode, sorry about that, but、um, because normally the tip would pop up with、uh, Sundere. A character who is Sun Sun, prickly and cold in public, but who becomes Dere Dere, warm and loving in private, also the personality type itself. However, in recent years, the definition has become somewhat vague. But、uh, in this case, Kurusu Makase and Amadeus Kurusu are classic examples of the Sundere anime trope. Sundere? What is that? I don't know what to say. Words you don't understand, eh? Your behavior tells me otherwise. Kao ga akai zo. Kono ko. Tere tere wa ne. Even Maho couldn't fail to notice that. That's the price you pay for being a nat chandler. Chris was shy, didn't he? <laughs> And Leskinen trying to make light of the situation. Not that that's a compliment or a defence. Genki de. Amadeus Chris. So you know. ちょっと違うな。君は別に病気にはならないわけだし。うん。You So instead, we'll settle with this. Though I don't think Amadeus Kurusu is making any promises. And now she's angry with us. Seems that even for an AI, Amadeus Kurusu can perceive the pained expression in Ritaru's eyes. <laughs> Much to his surprise. I guess even an AI can see right through me. Kurusu Makase really was one hell of a woman. Fairly well. Ah. Disconnected. Amadeus Kurusu disappeared from my screen. I turned to Dr. Liskin and nodded, deleting the Amadeus icon from my screen. And thus it's gone. Access can no kaijo wa ato de kochira de tetsuzuki shite oku yo. In other words, Leskinen is going to handle the bureaucracy for us. We'll let him do that. Tester to stay, Kyoryokus de Kurete. Arigato. Kichona deda ga toreta. I'm sure you did. Kotira koso. Arigato gozaimasta. And with that, they depart. I bowed deeply to both Maho and Leskinen. As I watched their plane take off into the distance, I noticed that it felt like there was a hole in my heart. I clutched my phone tightly. Its connection to Amadeus was gone. And so we part ways. And we move on to the next chapter presage or recognize. Huh. 
And it seems like we're shifting to the perspective of the... We're moving to the... Perception of the, uh... The perspective of the young Kaguishina. Her ten-year-old self from... Probably prior to 2036. No, not too prior, anyway. But, um... I believe I'm going to end the episode here for the time being. And, uh, when we return adventurers, we shall see, uh... What transpires in this, uh, newly revealed memory of Kagurishina. As always, until next we meet.